The Constitution quite clearly assigns to state legislatures the power to determine how and which electors are chosen. And it turns out that most, if not all, of the swing states are dominated by Republican legislatures. And so the startling truth is that this election is, in that sense, in our hands. What would make Republican legislators reluctant to recognize the fraud and seize the process as they are constitutionally authorized to do so? The first reason, fear. And that is the fear of the media uh, and fear of the left. They will harass you, they will keep calling your home, they will publicize your name, they will dox you, they will threaten you, they will do this, they will do that. This is the, so the same gangsterization that the left used in the election, they will use on the Republican electors and they know that. By the way, this shows the importance of our side providing counsel and protection, including security protection for these people. We did not tend not to think about stuff like that. Uh, but just lambasting them, calling them rhinos and sellouts and swamp creatures doesn't really do it because you have to address that these are normal people who have normal lives. They don't want to be harassed. They don't want their lives destroyed. Uh, our side should be able to protect them the same way that the left protects its own side. The second reason for Republican reluctance is that Republicans are and always have been the party of the nice guys. We tend to believe in the system we want to play by the rules. We feel that even if there's an injustice, well, okay, let's kind of roll up our sleeves. We'll get it right the next time. Now, the problem with this, of course, is that if you don't fix it this time, you're not, you're not likely to get it right the next time. The other side is going to see that they can get away with it, and they're going to try to do the heist again and again. The other thing is that our niceness, if you will, stimulates their aggression, uh, in other words, their gangsterization is based on the idea that we will not do to them what they do to us. If they do ballot harvesting, they don't think we will. If they use the deep state against us, they don't think we will use the deep state against them. Uh, if they unleash un Antifa to knock down our monuments, they know we won't knock down their monuments. Uh, if they pack the court, they know we won't pack the court. So the bottom line is precisely the fact that we are the way that we are that makes them the way that they are. So it seems to me the solution here is for our side uh, and for the Trump team to be working cooperatively with these people, educating them, helping them, supporting them. And similarly for us out in the field, if you will, not just to bash them because that causes them to dig in. It causes them to feel that we are not sympathetic to their predicament. We are sympathetic to their predicament. We know, we should know why they are reluctant, why they are fearful, why they act the way they do. And we should help not only to educate them, but also to stiffen their spine.